It's just I needed a walk because I needed a breather. One, one, two, three. Yeah, yeah, ate that up. Ate that up. Look at God, look at God, look at God, look at God. Are the turtles awake? Mm -hmm. Probably. Okay. He got accepted into one of the schools down there. And Oh, move over. Hi. Now he likes to say hi to everybody. Hi. <laughs> All right. So you ready to race? Go. Join a bike club. Ooh. Nasir. Look at nature. Beautiful. Are the turtles awake? Are the turtles awake? Probably. Y'all, look how pretty this tree is. Oh my gosh. So pretty. Why is it not focusing? It is pretty right here, isn't it? Yeah. Somebody put it in there and they weren't supposed to. They didn't want to. Mm-hmm. Could I put that in there? No. That's you can't be like other people. You gotta put that in the trash can where it belongs. You like the water? Mm -hmm. I'm the one throw it in the water. You want to throw it in the water? No. I don't want to. Good. Hi. Mhm. Mhm. Look at the roots. The roots. Yeah. Look at that. What is floating? So why why is floating? I don't know. Look at that one. I like when trees like linger by the water like that. I feel like that is so cute. I, I, Me and Nazi, sorry y'all if the lighting on this camera is horrible. I'm still trying to figure out how to work the settings on this camera. I had it on auto correct, but even with the auto correct, it still is just not giving what it's supposed to give. So I don't know if I look too dark or not because the sun is behind me so it's facing the camera so i don't know but anyways we are going for a walk right now and um it's just i needed a walk because i needed a breather look at us <laughs> i just needed a breather because it's so much with this process like and I don't want this video to just be me talking all the time but it's kind of like I can't just sit there 
and show you guys like every freaking detail like because a lot of the stuff is just phone calls and that's personal so i mean like i'll be able to show you guys me making the phone calls but i don't want you guys like listening to like the conversation because that's like privacy no if i pick you up we gotta go home you're a big boy come on we walking but like i was saying just got that running with Nazi. and y'all i needed to take a walk and like just refresh my brain because i literally after getting on the phone and calling places for information and talking to different people and sitting on the computer for a minute after sitting there doing that on the computer for a good minute you need to take a break like a breather like even though i tried to like just get off of the computer and just um sit down i still wasn't feeling that breather so i needed to uh that's what we did but i got some good news and some bad news are you getting cold okay no you need to put your sweater on if you're getting cold little breather because it was a lot sitting on that phone with those people but like i said i got some good news and some bad news and the good news is or should i do the bad news the bad news is in denver signing up for the school um she basically told me like oh you were been supposed to sign up um preschool for three-year-olds and four-year-olds are not recommended like they are they are just something that they do to help parents so she said it's not like oh we have to find him a spot she said it's basically first come first serve and um so i was kind of like oh my gosh like she was like it opened up april 10th the first session to sign up was february i think she said it was like february around that time and she said and it closed in march so she was like that was the first round and i was able to do the second round so of signups of applications so basically it was kind of like i wish i would have thought of that and did my research sooner like i was doing research like i already had knew like in south Bend, like oh open houses is in february but i didn't know that you had to sign up that far back for your kid i thought maybe it was like two or three months before school and yeah but so she told me like the second round that's what i signed up for and she was like he possibly could get in he possibly can't get in so i called a bunch of different places um trying to get some things together i gotta finish some phone calls tomorrow but i needed a breather because i'm gonna have to get back on the computer go through my email and fill out a bunch of paperwork so i'm like okay i need a break before i do that because i've been sitting on this phone calling people some people not answering my phone calls and that really bothers me when i'm calling within office hours and you guys are not answering like it just kills me because I'd be like, how many people do y'all got in this office? And why is it taking y'all so long? And why y'all not close to the phone? Like, and then you'll leave a voicemail and they still don't call you. Like, I had left a voicemail the other day and then I sent an email and never got a response back in my email. In, any of that. So I just end up calling and they did pick up the phone for me today and I end up getting everything handled over the phone. So, because online with Denver schools, um you can apply you sign up with the email you sign up with your password all that other stuff and then you go to each school and you apply for each school but me since i did it the other way i called them and made them do it so they well i didn't make them you know like he was like oh well if you're struggling he's like i could just do it for you so we talked about schools i looked online and he added him to 12 different well he did six schools but then when i called the actual public district um public school district um they ended up adding him to 12 schools they said that he can be added to 12 schools and then they'll see if he get accepted so he hasn't been he's not enrolled yet like he's enrolled in school but he does not have a school yet so i'm like that's a start you get what i'm saying that's okay so she told me that if he doesn't get accepted this year then he for sure will be accepted next year but i really want him to go this year because i feel like 
that'll just put him ahead especially for kindergarten like you know when he turns five I feel like he's gonna be four then so then next year if he starts he'll be four going on five yeah so he would I would rather him just be straight in kindergarten so I'm like I want him to be in school now since he's three going on four and he'll be able to have that education so that he can start kindergarten at five you know so he'll just you know have that extra prep so I'm like okay but that's like the bad news that that wasn't like that bad I feel like I say bad news because my hopes was oh he's in there he's in there but also oh what I forgot to say too was with the preschool I never even knew that they did that but with the preschool up there for three through four you have to pay and I don't know if she said it was a thousand a month or if it was a thousand for the year but all I know is that it was a thousand dollars and she said to put them in there so she said you can get a a grant or a voucher so we did get signed up your legs hurting well you gotta walk home okay come on it's called exercise mm-hmm so um <laughs> look at him oh let me see you do another one one two three four five six seven eight oh you did eight push-ups oh my god that gummy is tired you is strong can you do ten one two three four five six seven eight Nine, ten. Oh, good job! You're so strong. You're so good. <laughs> Say thank you. Thank you. <laughs> One, two, three. Good job, Stinky. <laughs> and you fast. <laughs> but anyways, y'all, he's not nice doing something else, huh? Yeah, <laughs> y'all. He just he needs to be in school, y'all. But like I said, that they said that it was gonna be a thousand dollars. So she told me that he we could sign up for a grant for him, and I was like, okay, that sounds cool. Like, so that's what I have. Good job. One, two, three. Good job. So I signed up for the grant, and she said most likely I'll be able to get it. So I mean that's partial good bad news because it's like a I say the reason why I call that bad news because I'm like that's a big what if what if he get it you get what I'm saying so I'm like we'll see about that but I made sure I prayed I prayed I prayed I prayed I prayed over Nazi you know pray that huh yes one two three four five good job I prayed over Nazi because yes, this is this will help me when I get down there, meaning that I won't have to be stressed out about childcare and finding him a childcare for uh, a daycare facility. Um, that you know, really that much. I feel like schools to me. I know that daycare is like a big thing where everybody is like scared to send their kids to daycare, which I agree, you know. But I feel like school is a little bit better than daycare because daycare is not like people like. I don't know it's to me it's a big difference between daycare and school school they're sitting they're learning they're having activities so kids you know that age they're more at, like on the active and they're not really acting up much I feel like daycare like kids kind of just sit around all day and it, it's easy to for them to be annoying and his alphabet like he keeps talking about the teacher he told me today like no drinks no food the teacher said and I was like who told you that and he's like the teacher I don't know where he be getting this information from where he be learning it from but all I know is he was like I'm gonna sit in class and I'm gonna raise my hand and I'm like I know that's right <laughs> I'm like yeah that's right boy but so okay the good news the good news is, so after I got all of that situated and I got him on the waiting list, 
calling up there and getting basically everything situated getting the name in the system applying these applications within like i want to say yesterday was that today so today yeah so called him he added him to six schools then i called the other um the actual district and then they added him to six more schools and two i ended up getting a text message saying that um he has been placed on the waiting list so i was confused because i'm like what exactly is the waiting list and i know it's like it's kind of like obvious but certain things is you know some things just you know it i don't know how to explain it i don't know exactly what i was thinking i'm like a waiting list for a school or he's just like because it could have been like an application for that exact school or just like a waiting list for you know the entire you get what i'm saying so i called one school they didn't answer and then i called the next school and i was like okay so he it says because on the when i went to my online app and then i went to my files my files online um i end up checking to see like I went to my files online and I checked to see, and it said that he was on a waiting list for two schools. And then it said position 20, and the other school said position three. So that's also what confused me. So I'm like, what is position? Is position like the the line like he, that he's in? Like is he number 20? Is he? So I was confused. So I ended up calling one of the schools, the one with the position 20. Um, he didn't they didn't answer the phone so the one with the position three i ended up calling them and i asked her i was like so i got a text message saying that he was on the waiting list i got on the app seeing that it was you guys and it says that he is it says position three underneath his application and she basically stated and said that come on she basically stated and said like oh that means he's third in line so if the first person get accepted or the first person removes himself he will go up to position two and then basically told me like position three means that he is third in line for the class so that made me really excited and then i went online looked up the school went to their facebook page and saw a bunch of pictures and i was like okay the school looks pretty decent like i'm not gonna say decent like oh like decent but it looks pretty promising pretty decent so i'm like and once he gets enrolled in school I'll be happy because at least he'll just be able to stay there for that year and then he'll be able to go to another school and most likely he'll be able to go to kindergarten because um, he'll be going on five you know what I'm saying so. all right y'all so I'm gonna lotion up my face real quick cuz I'm looking kind of ashy plus we want this skin to stay moisturized don't mind my hair. I end up doing rollers in my hair. Honestly, can't go wrong with the rollers. Now, I, I don't even know if that's a topic worth talking about right now. But, because that's not the point of this little documentary. But, um, first my hair. Let's talk about it. So, I started off with a pixie cut. And I'll insert some pictures wherever probably like right here um i'll show you a little background i went bald then i went i think i went bald and then i tried to like go and get it pink and it got bleached and i dyed it then i had a perm it fell out um won't get too much into that story but that fell out and then i just shaved it again bald and then I think I dyed my entire head blonde. I'll insert those pictures if I can find them. And then um, after that, I just started found me a finally found me a hairstylist. She lives in Chicago, and I'm in South Bend, so um, that's like a two-hour drive to her. But I will forever go to her until I can't anymore. Of course, when I move, I won't be able to. But I think even when I move, I'll probably still go to her just like, cause I don't need, I don't go to the salon like every month. I'll go like every two, three months because I like my hair to grow out significantly before I get another perm. So I'll probably still fly out to go see her. Like just fly out every three months, get my hair done, come back, you know, cause I just feel like 
I've been looking up hairstylists in Colorado and they're good, but they're not like her. Like, and I know that's like over exaggerating. Even my hairstylist, I'll put her at up here and some pictures of the styles that she done on me. But like, even she felt like I was exaggerating. She was like, you can't find anybody in your city. Like, no, nobody knows how to do real hair. Like not wigs, not braids, not all that other stuff. Like know how to do real freaking hair cut it shave it like she's the type like i fell asleep i was going to my concert and i had felt bad that day too because i was already tired i was already just not feel not fi not saying i'm not feeling it but it was just like i couldn't even stay awake in that freaking chair like my mind was just oblivious so i ended up having to like text her and apologize for my like attitude but anyways i had to apologize for my attitude sitting in that chair but she understood because i literally i went with like a whole day without sleep i like didn't sleep that morning then went to work then didn't sleep throughout the night like i had to i was just it was just okay but she ended up doing my hair i fell asleep in the chair woke up looking like nia long <laughs> looking like nia long and she did it perfectly but she had one day she permed my hair and bleached it did all that and my hair did not fall out it was still healthy no split ends no nothing like that's why i just trust her like i really hope like she get a good clientele and she succeeds what i was gonna say is my rollers so i usually would do this hairstyle with like a flat iron and it would not last throughout the day like it'll last throughout the day but if i go to sleep it's over with this is two days y'all now mind you this little piece the reason why this look like that is because I end up getting it wet and I curled it with a flat iron. Now, you see what I mean? This is what it would look like after a day's work. It would look like this. But this is rollers. And the little pieces that y'all see that is straight was pieces that I forgot. Like, not forgot, but I was rushing. I was getting tired. So, I was missing certain pieces to put in the roller. So, I've been using, like, the flat iron on these little pieces right here. But, y'all, this is literally rollers no heat just foam and rollers and it lasted me two days and i'm pretty sure if i go to sleep on it, it's freezing now but if i go to sleep on it, it's still gonna look good and i'm still finna when i go to sleep and wake up i'm still finna wear my hair like this like so i think no heat rollers and only use my curling iron like when i feel like i want that curling iron look but this right here baby these rollers yeah yeah ate that up ate that up so but anyways y'all is well i got off work at six six like six fifteen ish or whatever six fifteen six thirty and it's like it's seven fifty five right now i just came home took a shower i put some clothes inside the washing machine whatever whatever but so i like i told y'all before i don't know when was the last what i said last when i recorded but I know that I had spoke to you guys about Nasir getting in school down there. So I called down there, called this other number, and basically everything that I told y'all I did, it worked. Nas is now in school. Yay! He got accepted into one of the schools down there, and I was like, God works, God works. Like, God works. And it's so crazy, like, because especially ever since i've been on my new journey like with god like i was raised in the church always been in church but i never knew god for myself and quite frankly i'm still learning god who he is and what he do like i'm still in the beginning stages like trust me when you get into that bible it's gonna be hard like i will not lie it will be hard for you to continue to keep reading it for you to continue praying like i just feel like wherever you like you need to pick it up somewhere else like if i don't read i'll make sure i'm always praying like put a reminder on your phone to to always pop up a scripture and don't be lazy and just look no you need to read that scripture real quick you get what i'm saying because sometimes when i read a scripture then i get curious and then i'm like let me just go ahead and study this or let me go ahead and google and look up the commentaries and see what it says and a lot of the times like i'll be like dang this is what i needed to hear or dang that was good like you get what i'm saying so don't be feeling if you are getting to your journey where you are starting to read your bible don't the moments where you feel like oh i don't want to read my bible i don't feel like it don't get discouraged in it and never put it fully i say don't put it on a back burner period but it's like things happen you get what i'm saying but like remember that god 
wants whatever little time that you give him whether it's five minutes god know that we have a busy life we have a stressful life we need time to ourselves so just pick it up whenever you can and if you can't pick it up if he if you are constantly always thinking about him that's an a plus like that's 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 number one that you you go through your day because sometimes like i don't read but i just be thinking about god all day long i just be like oh my gosh like god this god like my brain just be stuck on him so when i have those moments where like i'm constantly thinking i constantly like i'll pray or j just do something that includes god in that moment so i just want to tell you guys that we all struggle with that anybody who read their bible we all struggle with it that is the devil <laughs> that's the devil trying to you get what i'm saying like <laughs> just just stay focused okay with the lord but anyways i say that to say like with this whole process with moving like when i was getting accepted like it just really showed me what god can do like and i was talking on the phone with my best friend today and i'm like well yesterday and we were just talking about god she was just like your biggest enemy is yourself like you give god the littlest thing to hold and he will make it the biggest thing and one thing i can say is like if you pray your prayers and that's like here's the thing though with god like <laughs> i'm still studying up on this but this is I, if i'm wrong i will come back and recorrect myself but from what i see like if you keep praying for something and praying for something god will make it happen but be careful though because you can pray for something that you don't really need or that is 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 not meant for you but you pray for it so hard and you want it so bad that he ends up just giving it over to you so it's like when you pray for something you gotta listen and that's something that i struggle with too it's like i'll pray but then i just like no nah, let me just go ahead and do it and, and then put myself in the situation that i should have waited for the answer for and also too when you pray and you give things to god you have to leave it in his hands okay leave it in his hands so like with this whole thing with him being in school there's no faith without work like i have the faith that when i move when i go whatever i go through whatever i do god is gonna make it happen if this is for me you get what i'm saying and i feel like god knows my heart he knows that i don't want to be here in indiana anymore like i'm just like i have to get away like even though it's like i'm think everybody keep telling me like you're gonna be alone it's just gonna be you and your son like you're literally gonna be alone like blah 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 i'm just like i know but i just feel like it's not meant for me to be in indiana anymore like i will talk about this in a whole nother video but it's not it is not the place to live y'all i just feel like that i feel strongly about it i feel passionate about it me and my best friend was talking about this like we talked about this all the way in high school like beginning of high school how we did not want to stay here and she constantly repeats that to me like we used to say this all the time we like she moved to texas she got out of here asap and she loves it and she was one of my biggest motivators i'm like yes i got to go i see you living your best life you happy you don't want to come back i know <laughs> i just know so she's been pushing me like girl yes you need to get away but i just felt like that this is a journey that he and i feel like just with the things that happened last year for me things that happened this year for me i just feel like he he made it he definitely made a way so i just feel like and then too like with the whole goal i, I get off subject but the whole thing with my son getting in school i didn't even think of it ahead of time like i just i just thought about it like two weeks ago i not see her needs to get in school so because i was thinking of child care when i looked on their website you can't get on child care until you are actually living in her district because they need you in the office so i was like well i need to do something while i'm here so i thought about school i was having trouble getting him and him in school here because his birthday starts in october so i'm like okay well they won't that happened last year though but i was like i just gave up on it and then like they have majority half days not full days they do half days here so i'm like that'd be hard for him to go to school half days and i gotta go to work unless i drop him off in the morning and then i work the 2 to 10 p.m shift and you get what i'm saying like but i just feel like him being gone all day like he's gone in the morning for four hours and he come home with me for about two hours then i gotta go to work like he just missed out on time with me so i was like maybe that's not it and plus like my job i couldn't find a job that was working the shifts that i needed to work like i wanted to work morning shift but how can i work morning shift if i gotta pick him up in four hours you get what i'm saying so it just it wasn't working out i got on the website like i said i told you guys before how i contact everybody and then they finally end up contacting me again like two days ago or it might have been a day mind you i be working odd hours so i be getting my days mixed up but it was like a day ago or a day and a half two days and i got a call from this lady and she ended up 
pushing my application through so i went through the homeless education program because when i get there i will be homeless i will be listen listen i know y'all looking like what the heck is going on what you mean homeless you have a kid i get it i get it but listen we're moving by faith not by sight okay faith not by sight i got a plan but plans don't always go as planned okay so we're we're doing the homeless thing okay i went to the homeless education program they gave me like a temporary address and they enrolled him like they pushed his application because of that which was nothing but god so she filled that out for me sent it in and next thing you know within like an hour or two it got oh he got accepted into such such i'm like look at god 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 look at because period look at we see what you be doing like come on now so that made me super happy so i went ahead and just um uploaded all my documents so he will be starting school i leave here july 31st he will be in school august 19th so that way i'll be able to look for a job when i get down there get a job i know everybody like get how you should have a job already lined up but y'all jobs.com and indeed.com they be popping up the same freaking places over and over and over again like i know there's more than one victoria they be if you type in victoria's secret i just started typing in random stuff in the search engine it's popping up one job like one job and i'm just looking at them like as big as this city is i know that there's more than just that one like you y'all tweaking y'all are crazy so i'm like okay cool so i'm just gonna wait until i get down there plus like i said he won't start school until august 19th so that will give me some time to drive around look around and look for some jobs and stuff so i just feel like that was just a total blessing like oh my gosh like i know he is set and ready to go like i don't even have to be that's that's a stress reliever off of my back i don't have to worry about oh what my son gonna do like the money that i got saved up am i gonna be spending it all like no he'll be in school i'll be able to look for a job i'll be able to do this and do that like i just feel like that was nothing but the lord above so but that's the update y'all that's the update the update is he's in school he gotta accept it we a big boy now he a big boy now <laughs> it is it's kind of like it's kind of emotional for me too because i'm like i had like i be thinking back to like oh my gosh i had this child like i literally had this baby in me i pushed this baby out I'm his mother, like, and just to see him be three, and he now is getting ready to go to school, like, and he, at first, he used to hate it, like, he did not like the thought of school, he used to be like, I, mommy, he wasn't even going to school, my brothers was going to school, he would see them go to school, he'd be like, mommy, I don't want to go to school, I, I no, I don't want to, he, and I'd be like, nah, sir, you don't have to worry about school right now, you, you're not going to school, he was like two, at that time talking about he don't want to go to school so i'm like oh my gosh i'm gonna have trouble with putting this boy in school because what he do he gonna tweak out now this boy is mommy i want to get on the school bus mommy this, he he keep repeating the same thing and i wonder like where he learned this from who told him this but he was like mommy the teacher said no food no drink and i'll be like in the class and he'd be like yes teacher said no food no drinks i said in the class he'd be like yes <laughs> so i'm like he'd be like i need a backpack i need a lunch box like he just so ready to get prepared and i keep telling him, you got a few more months baby when we get down there we will look for you a book bag and a lunch box we will look for you all of that okay just he excited so now it has like it made me more excited because at first i was like very skeptical about sending him to school because i'm like oh my gosh like i know i ain't got no choice but it's just like i'm like dang i'm so skeptical about it but now my baby is ready he he mommy i'm ready to go to school and i keep telling him like i told him the other day this was yesterday when i got back on the computer and i uploaded the documents and i got all excited i was picking with him i'm like picking with him i'm like oh you in school i'm like nazi in school nazi in school so i told him like you know you're gonna go to school by yourself right he like you not gonna go with me <laughs> i'm like no you gonna go to school by yourself i'm like mommy gonna drop you off but you gonna be by yourself and he's oh he started cheesing he like okay and i'm like you ready for that like mommy not gonna be with you and i told him like that's almost like having a job i said how mommy go to work alone you're gonna go to school 
alone. That's gonna be like your job, you know? And he was like, okay. And I'm like, you ready? He like, yeah. I'm like, you gonna go? He like, yeah, I'll go to school. I'm gonna meet, he said he gonna have friends. And I'm like, he always, he don't say I'm gonna have friends. He'd be like, he gonna have friends. And I'm like, you gonna have friends, baby. You gonna, like, oh my, y'all don't understand. Like you, if you a mom, then you understand. But if you not, I don't know, baby. Your nieces, your nephews or whatever. Like, it's just a whole nother ball game. Like, I just like, and now I'm excited because I'm like, oh my gosh, I wonder how I'm going to feel on his first day. Like, I'm like, I, am I going to cry? No. Like, am I going to be scared? Like, I feel scared. I'm already scared. Like, I'm scared. Like, I don't even know why. Like, I'm just nervous. Like, I'm like, oh my gosh, I might, I'm thinking about sitting in with him, y'all. Even though my best friend told me not to do that. She told me sit outside, but I'm like, I got to do something. I'm going to have to watch him for a little bit, see how he react. Cause I know Nasir, he might cry. I don't know, cause he grew out of it. Now he used to be, he used to be really shy. Now he's like, we be walking, going for walks. See everybody who walk past, hi, how you doing? Like, and he used to be like scared to talk to people. And I'm like, but I love that for him because I was like that, I was very shy. A lot of times I don't even really feel like I was shy. I just was like conservative and very nervous about other people. So for him, I was hoping like, please be, I want him to be as outgoing as possible. Like not, you know, too outgoing, but like I wanted him to be comfortable outgoing. Know that his voice is important. Like you can always speak up and always talk. So I don't know y'all, I can go on and on and on and on, but. I'm just excited for him. I'm like, I, I still like, I'm trying so hard not to smell, but I'm like, my baby, my baby, my baby is getting so big. Oh, I can't, I just can't like, I, it's, I've been thinking about it like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, okay. I'm done y'all, but just know, I'm excited. I'm happy like I, I just feel like the Lord is just blessing me like uh and then like because I feel like the Lord is blessing me so much I'm like I have to get back on track I have to do what the Lord tells me to do I have to read my Bible I have to pray because the way the man has upstairs has been coming through for me I owe you my soul i owe you my life like i owe it to him like there's nothing to i owe it you feel me so i don't know i just been happy feeling just i just been feeling glorious like i don't know if i'm supposed to use the word glorious but i just been feeling god's gloriousness his glory like <sighs> y'all but anyways I'm finna get me some shut eye, some, some shut eye, and I will see y'all next time I decide to pick up this camera. God bless.